making sure it does not go outside of our bevel edges no more than a sixteenth of an inch. That's half that rod size. That's how much puddle I'm allowed outside each of these edges. And if an eighth inch rod is something that you can't maintain, you can't keep up with, it's too much, it's piling up, you're getting undercut, go down in those 332 sizes because they're a little bit easier to manage. One thing I like about these 332s, I don't have to spend so much time on the sides. Like I mentioned before, I can actually just do this really fast pattern. It's probably my favorite technique. It's really fast side to side, but I'm staying I'm staying in my puddle a lot more. I'm not actually making those big steps and long pauses. I'm making very, 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 very tiny and tight steps and almost no pause at all. This is the biggest thing that I want to point out over here. When I do these weaves with my 332s and even what I try to do with my 8s, that weave is so tight you don't even see the motion or the weaving that's in there. There's no valleys in between those. There could not be a valley. Whereas these big wide big daddies, when we take those big steps, we leave those little bit of space and those little inconsistencies. Let's cap this one. And I'm going to be doing that same technique that I was just doing, which is a quick side to side, really making sure I get out of the center, keeping that rod inside those edges. I don't care what weave pattern you're doing, what oscillation you're trying to achieve, just keep your weld inside the edges. We want reinforcement, but we don't want a big fat daddy. Big fat welds typically add more stress risers, more heat input, more stress to be found on those big chunky welds. Usually the minimum is nothing under flush. You can be flat and they're fine with that. And they're sometimes maximums. One more rod ought to do it. Nice. This is the weld that I would much rather see than this one. We are just about as wide as the groove opening that we had, uh, so we're not much further outside of that. You don't see any of the weave pattern that we're doing. We can see that we've got a, a single bead on there, but it's not too heavy, it's not too tall, it's tied into the edges. It looks like I do have a good gnarly chunk of undercut right there on that edge. That's unfortunate, but there's no undercut on the rest of it. That looks really nice.